Hi there, this is Amy. Um, thanks for coming back to uh, watch my glass painting technique. Um, I hope you had a good holiday. This is the first video I'm doing after the Christmas holiday. Anyways, today what we're going to do is just a very quick, I'm really into the quick painting, something easy that most anyone can do just for the, the mere reason that, you know, a lot of times people want to be able to do these themselves, but they feel like they don't have the skill to do them. What I'm showing you is just very simple, basic designs. Um, I actually, for my own self, would do something more detailed, but just for the purpose of maybe having a ladies night out, having friends over to paint. This would be um, just an easy sit down, have some wine, paint, and go on. Again, like with any glass that you want to paint on, make sure that you do clean it. Um, you can uh, wash it with you know, soap and water, then go over it with, with uh, denatured rubbing alcohol. Um, but the main thing is to make sure that you do actually clean it or you can just go over it with the, the alcohol if you don't want to wash it. Now, for the purpose of um, my videos too, I'd like to remind you that when you're baking, I do use folk art enamels. That's the primary paint that I use to, to paint on glass, but if you're choosing some other product, just make sure you do follow the manufacturer guidelines. With folk art enamels, um, they do recommend that you uh, bake them for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. They also do fully cure by air drying 21 days. With that being said, if you're going to bake your glass, the important thing is to make sure, no matter what type of glass you're using, that you do put it into the oven while the oven is cold, then preheat the oven with the glass inside. I add my preheat time to my bake time, so for instance, my oven takes 20 minutes to preheat, so I'm actually baking the glass for 50 minutes. Then, real important, make sure that you do allow the oven to cool before you remove the glass. It's the sudden change in temperature that will cause your glass to break. Okay, so let's get started. Tonight, um, as I'm uh, showing you here, it's just going to be a real simple sunflower design. Again, very simple because I'm doing this to where you don't actually have to wait in between steps for it to dry before you proceed with the next. If you'd like to do it that way and add leaves to the outer part of this once it's dry, feel more than free to do so. Again, this is just a basic design, uh, hopefully that anybody can do without much difficulty. It's still an interesting glass. Like I said, I, I typically would uh, do this differently if it, if it were me. I would actually, you know, add the leaves to the outer part of it and that type of thing. But again, it's not necessary just to have a fun glass, cheap. I like to use Libby Glass. That's the product that I mainly use. I know a lot of people go to dollar stores to pick up their glassware. It just, it really doesn't matter. It, it's up to you. Now, basically what we're going to do to get started, I actually have on my palette these paints, the paint colors uh, would be Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, School Boast Yellow, Sunflower, Wicker White, and Thicket Green. All right, so get started. I'm actually using three different scruffy brushes and one flat brush, which is approximately a 12 inch wide flat brush. Flat brush is what I'm using to do the petals. The scruffy brushes are what I'm using to do the inside of the flower plus the green. All right, I'm gonna start with the actual petals to the flower first. Um, I feel that that's probably the best way to do it. Gets a nicer look. Um, again, if you find it works you know, better for you to do it the opposite direction, feel free to do it. Just keep in mind this is a quick, simple, easy pattern. It's not detailed. It's not meant to be detailed. It's just meant to give you a, an idea of something that you can do with your friends or if you're just beginning glass painting, this is a good one to start with. So I'm going to put my brush, and I don't do this in any pattern per se, but I dip my brush into three different colors at once. 
I actually do use the two different yellows that I mentioned and the wicker white and I also add just a touch of the burnt sienna. I'm going to place my brush on the glass and just, just give it a twist. Place my brush on the glass and just give it a twist. And you just continue going around the glass. I just, I personally keep reloading my brush. And your, your petals will vary. I mean, and that's okay. They don't have to be the same color. Um, and again, you know, I'm just loading, loading the brush. A little bit too much paint there on my brush. And I'm trying to keep, keep the brush stroke so that there's a little bit of a space at the top for people to actually drink from the glass without touching the paint. Um, again, the paint is non-toxic, but I would still recommend trying to keep it from the top if possible. And I do not, I'm not detail-oriented as far as you know, marking with tape how far I am from the middle of the glass. I just keep turning it and keep going. You can reload your, your brush more often if you want it to be more consistent. Yeah, that's fine. If you want to take a little bit of the paint off before you start painting on the glass, you know, that's fine too. It's just a quick, easy... And some of my tips aren't coming out real neatly, but... I said this is just for the purpose of the demonstration. All right, so there you go with the petals. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it on here. There you go with the petals. And then the next step is I'm going to do the um, burnt umber first. And that's the, the darker of the browns. And this is the scruffy brush I'm talking about. And I'm just going to go around it. Just keep turning my glass as I go. Again, it's not a precise thing. If you want to do taping and all that good stuff, go for it. I personally am not detail-oriented as far as everything having to be you know, precise. I'm going to go back over it again. I'd like for it to be a little bit darker. And two, you can you know, peek in the inside of the glass and just see if you're covering, getting good coverage so you don't have any real unpainted um, spots in, on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and load my brush again because I like it to be a little bit darker. I think I'm pretty happy with the inside of that, the way it looks at this point at least. Alright, the next one I'm going to do is the burnt sienna. And I'm just going to go around the bottom of that and just keep turning my glass. Like I said, I hope all of you had a nice holiday. Unfortunately, mine was kind of crazy. My husband was sick, which kind of 
put a damper on it, but oh well, what are you going to do? Alright, so you look inside there and just see if you're happy with the inside. If not, just go back over it, add more paint, and then just keep on going. And then the final color is going to be the Thicket Green. And that will just be pounced on at the base of the glass. And with it too, you know, if, it, if I don't think it's dark enough, I'm going to go over it again until I feel comfortable with it. And again, I just hope you understand that this is just a basic design. It's not supposed to be anything elaborate. That's intentional. And just so you can see the inside of it at this point. Now, if you want to come down further, you can on your stem. If you want to do the stem all green so that it's like the vine of the flower, hey, more power to you. But just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just going to keep it at the, just at the top, right underneath the base of the glass. Now, if you decide that you want to add leaves to the top and cover up the outer part of the glass, again, feel free to do so. It's not actually necessary, but again, obviously, the flowers typically would, would have leaves. But there you go. Just uh, quick and simple. Didn't take very long. It's very cute on the inside. And uh, just a fun little glass. Have your friends over, drink your favorite wine, and you'll be ready to, to go with your cute little wine glasses. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to, to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would love to hear any comments, suggestions, anything that you have to say. Please leave comments. I, I like to read those. Or if you have any questions about glass painting in general, feel free to ask. Anyways, well, have a good evening. Thanks so much for stopping by.